familiar place this time because these are untested so I want to be pretty local so the first stop will be White Edge um, just to see if I have these um, weatherproofs are performing well if they're not I can turn back and it's not too much of a problem so that's the idea that's the plan now I'm going to ring out my poles that are falling down <laughs> um, Faisan compact poles then eventually went with these I got some help from Gillian um, one minute oh I've forgotten Gillian 36 12 maybe I'll put it on the screen now where I'll put it there um, thank you for these are asking about and of course I got about 50 different recommendations so I went with my own um, I went with these Gillian Adam I asked her about them we in the hour she would she were emailing me back telling me what she thought so thanks again Gillian um, fires and compact excellent very happy with these just put a bit of high vis tape on them just in case at the bottoms so right we'll crack on because I'm rambling now reach the top my arms wet through look at this Kit fail. Spent a lot on this and all. Garbage. First time it's been Arctic rain. Not to do with DWR finish. My arms wet through. Soaked straight through. Look. Keyless cumulus pro mountain jacket. Garbage. Look at this the back and the arm has been in all rain sodden wet through it is really heavy and all all the way down to cuff so it's going back back up I've got me under armour hat um, I've got my base layers of wrap Rab Miko, it's a mixture of merino wool and cocoa, whatever that is, it's something derived from coconuts apparently, so um, I thought to give this a whirl and it's been, it's been a good top, it's, this is an XL, it's a bit, a bit wavy but I don't like them too tight, so um, I've got a windproof top which is a Montane Featherlight windproof top and it's got a DWR finish on it so that's my backup, I'm going to put that on and see how we get on with that. Um, the last time I came out, no, the first time I came up on the moors, I asked about windproof tops. And uh, straight away, Mark, Sheb Suit, how are you doing, mate? Um, thanks for your advice. You said uh, my mate's got a Montane Featherlight. And then straight after you commented, uh, Simon Powell, you, all right, mate, um, you said, yep, I've got one of them and they bang on. So I had a look at them. I researched them and I could get nothing but good reviews about them. Five star on Amazon, about seven reviews, all five star. So I thought, well, I'll give them a will. And I've just been using it as a backup in the bag, like just walking in case we have any showers. And uh, it's been bang on. So that's going to be used now. Um, it's really closing in now. You could probably tell, look, I've got about a 60 yard, maybe a bit, maybe a bit more, 60, 70 yard visibility. So. Without failing now, I'm gonna to have to cut it short. I'm definitely staying out tonight. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna cut it short. I'm gonna eat all that snap. <laughs> I'm gonna gorge on it, and uh, and then get that sent back. Luckily, it was an Amazon purchase, so I can get rid of that. Um, you know, I, I try to stay positive on my channel. I've had a, a few kit failures, and I just send them back and don't make a fuss with that. It were really beefed up expensive mountain jacket you know and uh, he's failed on me I'm wet through and I've, I've only been walking two hours so I'm gonna pick my lip up <laughs> get my windproof on get to campsite where I usually stop and uh, get some snap on I think right stay with me sorry to be moaning but you know that's it now I've had my moan we'll crack on no uh, no use dwelling on it right I'll get packed up and get me top on.
Right, we'll try again. Improved top on, buff around my neck, hats on. You know, I just took the place of a mountain jacket. Whew, it's cold up here, I tell you. Right, we'll carry on. There we go. I tell you, that's perfect in all Osprey rain cover. Not a drop on bag. Not a drop. You can pick that up. Stag's running. Right, I'm gonna get set up. Just a few tweaks I've done with my Atco and all I can show you when I roll it up. Top right hand side I've put a bit of orange paracord so in all that's that side. I've got some help kit carabiners and the pegs already attached. It's a lot easier just to put it down and all that's the side, right hand side that goes into the wind and the uh, doors on this side. So just a little few tweaks here and there. I've also put some tape on the uh, zippers to stop them rattling. Um, we'll crack on and get it up. Just in time, it's just started raining again. Nicely set up, nice and taut. Can't keep that bloody door open. I've just used a pair of pegs. <laughs> I don't know whether there's a a flap somewhere or something that I ain't got or something, but I can't find it. It don't stay up. That's the only one I can find on it down here, so does the job. I've gone round the uh, the zippers with some Gorilla tape. Just cut them round like that. No flapping, no tapping. Yeah, that's it then. Right, I'm gonna get some snap on. How about that for timing? It's coming a bit now. Perfect, just what I want, a nice test for that coal. So, all right, let's get some snap on. Magic, here we go. My mate Ant who gave me that's been busy. Hope you're going on alright mate. These valley meatballs. Oop, that's a bit juicy. what you call a meatball. Can, can you hear them bloody deer? Clearing up a little bit over there, I'll be able to see them in a bit. Right, Tease Valley meatballs and Mexican rice. Oh, good enough to eat that.
bit of I'll try and find some of these staggers in a bit. Try and get a close up on them. And these two have come together, they don't seem to be bothered by each other though. These are younger, these ones, you can tell with antlers. I don't know, so you've got a female there. Really. Two. I'm in two minds now. One, I don't know how aggressive they are. And two, I could be disturbing them. Now, a lot of them are coming round here, there's these up at this side and there's a lot to me right and there's loads behind me I'm in the middle of it the clouds coming in again, look at this <laughs> just moving up and out in front of me if you can see these and all, these are these are peculiar creatures, these. <laughs> it's all telephoto lenses and that, they're probably looking at me. And they've got some gear up there, I bet they can count whiskers on my chin, them lot. Jim here, banana man. That's Froggart and Kerber Edge that. Froggart Edge, one or other cat. Yeah, I'm getting more and more round to idea of shifting. Failed wild camp. He's a big lad. She is Jezebel. That's who they've got their eye on. That's a big animal, that. Whoa. Go on, lad, Gary. Go on, that's a... He's a big lad. You alone know me. I think I'm going to bottle it. 
<laughs> they're all around me. I've already had one disappointment with me top. There's a lot of photographers up there with big lenses looking straight at me because they're, the stags are in front of me. The cows are moving in, and we know how inquisitive they are. And it's not so much I'm worried about getting punctured, <laughs> it's more about Mr. End and my nice new tattle. And that has been going on for the last three hours. <laughs> I don't know if they're going to be doing it all night and all. So I'm bottling it. Ah well. Uh, at least I don't fib and say my battery caught out. <laughs> my battery went. Yeah, we'll look at all that coming in there. I can see rain moving in front of me here. Yeah. A bit more wild than I like, really. There's more there. There's there. I've got cows and I've got three stags there and I've got people watching me on top and I don't like that. I don't like people watching me unless it's you a lot. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to pack up and I'm going to go on with my tail between my legs. But you know, I've got some nice footage, just some stags there. I found out that my top's crap and it's going back. So. Ah well, I'm getting a lot of questions on where I'm at, where I am and what I'm doing. I've been going out, I just, it's a, heavy this camera, I've got a big bulky camera and I had some new gear that I weren't sure about. So, I thought I'd bring camera this time when I come and, <laughs> and I've ended up bottling it. So, I've got to think of a, a name for video now, I've got to try and splice a video together and then come up with a name for it. Right, so it's not that I'm scared. <laughs> of great big antlers it's that I want to leave them in peace you see I want to leave them to the stuff and I don't want to impede on nature <laughs> now I know what to do with them great big antlers they are not afraid at all and they're, they're coming closer and closer so yep that's it I'm gonna bottle it right <laughs> I'll get you back for another one hopefully um, I'll find out when the rutting stops. I did actually see a sign that's saying they were rut rutting. And uh, five pounds for a group to go and listen to them rut. And yeah, five pound? I bet that's all there, do we? Not tops there. And they're half a mile away. <laughs> and I've got them at the bottom of the hill. The note. That's where I'm camping for you. Listen to it, that's going to be all night, I can tell. I don't want that. Right, I think I've built up enough excuses. I'm gonna go home and get on uh, editing gear, get on tall windows. Right, um, packing up. Everyone hates that, don't they? Especially when you've got a wet. That's what you want, waterproof. Right, I'll say it again for the fifth time. I'm going with Monk on. Um, before I stop, I'll say any suggestions on a decent jacket. And I'm talking a decent light mountaineering jacket, a good um, thick one. Because that was useless, it's going back. The only other one I was looking at was a Rab Mountain Drew. The discontinued now, and you can get them at a bit, bit less, but. So any suggestions on a really, I'm not bothered about weight, I need it to be waterproof. I've had a British Army Gore-Tex for eight years, it's never let a drop through. And you can get it for 20, 30, 40 pounds. I spend over 100 pounds on a jacket and I'm wet through in an hour, that's, that's not on that. So suggestions welcome, as always. And as you can see from my gear, I'll take you up on it. So, um, I'm contemplating a, a, a Montaigne Minimus just to have like this because it's got a hood on and it's got a, a pocket for smock eventually I'm, I can't but I can't spend that yet so that's going to go back and I want a, a decent waterproof jacket so suggestions and criticisms on this video <laughs> uh, well you're not you're not surrounded by about 12 stags with hard-ons <laughs> I am 
Right, I'm getting packed up and I'm going. ta -ra. Just wanted to see this guy on my way back behind me. Looks like he were coming in too. Pretty close that one. I'm not bothered though, these are... They're confident. Yeah, just over the hills where I were, so I've done the right thing, I reckon. Just see his head. Yep. Oop. Yep, they're getting feisty over there. <laughs> right decision. Leave them to it.